Let's take the next few moments and take a look at how Trimble Business Center can be your estimating, data prep, and as-built documentation tool for your construction workflow. Typically, a project is going to start at the bidding or takeoff stages. So Business Center has the ability to import a PDF document or other imagery. And from this data, we can determine what we're going to bid on and in this case, what we're going to construct. And in this particular instance, we're going to talk about this utility network that we have here. So we're going to focus on utilities here. So once I have this PDF in, I can either import the vector data, which is the CAD data, or if I'm uh, got a good relationship with the designer and I can get a hold of the CAD data, I can import that in as well. From this CAD data and or the PDF documentation, we can model up our utility network. Inside a business center, we have a utility module that lets us take this 2D data, whether it's from a PDF or CAD data, and turn it into a utility network, such as you see here with my 3D pipes and my structures. I can also create a trench using my trench template manager and from that trench template manager, I can design or create a utility trench. From this information, I can then run the takeoff report. And with the takeoff report, what I can do is determine how much material I'm gonna need for my site, not only just the pipes and structures, but also all the earthwork that I'm gonna need and displace. I can account for my compaction and expansion values, as well as the materials that I'm gonna use for my bedding within my utility network. Once I have that and we've won the project, I can take this same information and send it out through my construction data workflow to my off-machine or on-machine technology, such as my SCS or SiteWorks to the uh, base and rovers or to my GCS Earthworks to my excavator. Once they start construction, we can then bring in the data using the machine data overlay directly from the excavator. So what you have here or if I go over to my plan view and we take a look at the machine overlay, I can see exactly where that excavator was and where they operated. If I take a look at it in 3D view, I can look at the scan data. So you can see it's basically creating a point cloud. And then from that point cloud, what I can do is create this surface directly from the data collected by the machine. So you can see here that the trench dug by the machine matches up pretty closely to the trench that I laid in and created from my estimating and takeoff phase. Then what I can do is use that same machine, an excavator, to come in and locate the pipe that it put in the ground. So as the pipe is being laid, the excavator is marking points with his bucket. I can then take that data, and if we split this view here, I can then look at the trench in a cross-section view where you can see that this cross-section view, my invert of the pipe is 13,129 or 1313, and you can see that the pipe located by the excavator at this particular point is exactly the same value. So now I can see what the trench looks like. I can see the design being the magenta line here and the actual construction being the yellow line. Um, I'm able to verify that my operator constructed the trench and constructed utilities as per the design and as per the bid. If you want to know more about what Trimble Business Center can do for you, contact your local SciTech dealer.